Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will discuss how to determine the point estimate of a population mean. Definition of terms muna tayo. Parameters refers to the numerical descriptive measures of a population. It is a measures describe a population. Estimate is a value or range of values that approximate a parameter. Estimation is the process of determining the population parameters. Point estimate is a specific numerical value of a population parameter. The sample mean point estimate best describes the population mean. Interval estimate is a range of values that may contain the parameter of a population. And please notice guys, estimates provide limited information. It does not tell how much about the possible size of the error. In order for us to be confident with our estimates as approximation of a true parameter values, we take as many samples as possible from the population. Compute the sample statistics and carefully compare the results before we formulate the conclusion. A good method of estimating a parameter is described from many samples and are equal to the true population parameter. In this case, we can say that the sample statistics is unbiased estimate. When do we say that our estimate is good? Number one, if the mean of the sample statistics from a different random samples equals the two population parameter, then the sample statistics is unbiased estimate of the parameter. And number two, across the main repeated samples, the estimates are not very far from the true parameter value. Let's take example one. A certain company claims that its bottle juice contains 320 milliliters of orange juice. In order to have a point estimate and to know that the company claim is true, study 10 random samples of 5 bottles and determine the capacity in milligrams per each bottle. The result shown as follows. On the table, we can see from sample 1 to sample 10 composed of 5 bottles with their respective capacity in milliliter. In order to know that the company claim is true, we need to solve for the point estimate of a population mean of the bottled orange juice. To solve for the point estimate, do the following. Number 1, solve for the mean of each sample. And number 2, solve for the mean of all the sample means. Note, the overall mean is the point estimate. Let's proceed. To get the mean of sample 1, we will add the 5 capacity measures and its sum is 1,601. To get the mean, we will divide 1,601 by 5. The result is 320.2. So the mean is 320.2. Do the same in sample 2. The sum of 5 measures is 1,592. Divide it by 5, the result is 318.4, so the mean for sample 2 is 318.4. In sample 3, the sum of 5 measures is the same with 1,592, therefore the mean is also 318.4. Please do the same to the rest of the samples. In sample 4, the mean is 319.6. In sample 5, the mean is... 319.2 In sample 6, the mean is 318.6 In sample 7, the mean is 319.4 While in sample 8, 319.2 In sample 9, the mean is 319 And last but not the least, in sample 10, the mean is 318.6 after getting the means of all the samples, we will also solve for the mean of all the sample means. So what we will do is, we will add all the sample means from 320.2 up to 318.6. And the result, which is 3190.6, will be divided into 10. And the result is the point estimate which is 319.06 therefore based on the random samples 
the point estimate of the population parameter is 319 milliliter. And after that point estimate, we can now conclude if the claim is true or not. Since 319 is very close to 320, we can conclude that the company claim is true. Aside from the mean, we can also compute the standard deviation to describe the dispersion of the scores in the distribution. And to solve for this, we must first solve the variance and extract its square roots. Let us recall the variance formula. Since it is a population, it is denoted by S squared equals the summation of quantity X minus X bar squared all over N minus 1. If we extract its square root, we have the standard deviation where X is the column mean or the sample mean, X bar is the overall mean or the point of estimate, and N is the number of cases. To solve for the variance, in column 1, we have the sample means. In column 2, we have the sample mean minus the point of estimate. And in column 3, the square of the column 2. To get the first difference on column 2, 320.2 minus 319 equals 1.2. Next, for samples 2 and 3, 318.4 minus 319 equals negative 0.6. Continue, 319.6 minus 319 equals 0 0.6, 319.2 minus 319 is 0 0.2, 318.6 minus 319 is negative 0 0.4, 0 0.4 on the next, 0 0.2, 0 and negative 0 0.4 on the tenth sample. After completing the difference between the mean and the point of estimate in column 2, we will get its respective squared. Okay, let's proceed. 1.2 squared is 1.44. For negative 0.6 and 0.6 squared, we have 0.36. For 0.2, we have 0.4. And for negative 0.4 and 0.4, we have 0.16. After completing the third column, we will add them and the sum is 18.92. And that sum will be substituted on the formula. So we have 18.92 all over 10 minus 1. Since 10 minus 1 is 9, so we have 18.92 divided by 9 equals 2.1. Therefore, the variance is 2.1. To get the standard deviation, we will extract the square root of the variance. So we have S equals square root of 2.1. S equals 1.45. Therefore, the standard deviation is 1.1. 45. Let's take another example. Exercise number 2. Find A, the point estimate of the population parameter, and B, the standard deviation of the following data for the randomly selected price in peso of branded mobile chargers in the market. 42 randomly selected different prices are arranged in 7 columns with 6 different prices each column. Let us make column 1 as sample 1 up to column 7 as sample 7. Below two columns representing the sum and the mean of each sample. The sum and sample mean for column 1 is 2691 and 448.50 respectively. The sum for column 2 is 1904. Its sample mean is 317.33. The mean for sample 3 is 428.67 and 431 for sample 4. 391.67 for sample 5, 421.50 for sample 6, and 446.83 for sample 7. Again, to get the point estimate, we will add all the 7 sample means and it will be divided by... 7. The sum of all the 7 sample means is 2,885.5 divided by 7 
equals 412.17. Therefore, the point of estimate of the population parameter based on the sample means is 412.17. To solve for the variance, we will get the squared of the difference between the sample and the point estimate. The first sample is 448.50 minus 412.17 equals 36.33 squared of this, 1319.87. Next, 317.33 minus 412.17 equals negative 94.84 it's squared 8994.63 then continue the same process until you finish the squared of the difference of the sample and point estimate of sample mean number 7 then get the sum of column 3 and this is 12647.94 Substitute the sum to the variance formula, divide it by 7 minus 1, so we have 12,647.94 divided by 6 equals 2,107.99. Therefore, the variance is 2,108. Get the square root of the variance, we have the standard deviation, so we have... S equals square root of 2,108 equals 49.91, pounded off equals 46, therefore the standard deviation is 46. Once again, sana ay may natutunan ka sa video na ito at kung bago ka, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe.